All right, now that we have the strut completed and the cube completed, it's time to assemble these together into the uh, uh, assembly that we have here. Now to create uh, an assembly, we need to create a new file. And we'll go to uh, uh, Creo, we'll go up to File and New. And instead of clicking on Part, we're going to click right here where it says Assembly. I'm going to change this to, uh, they call it Kit Assembly, we can just call it Kit. And we'll hit OK. And so, first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in the cube. And so we're going to hit the Assemble button, which is this button right here. So we'll click on that. It's going to bring up uh, where we want to find our um, cube. And so we'll go, oh, I'll have to go looking for mine. Yours will be someplace else. Um, and my cube is right here. And so once you find your cube and you bring it in, you see it, it's kind of attached to your mouse and it kind of follows your mouse around. So just click somewhere. Doesn't matter where right now. And we're going to click up here where it says automatic. And we're going to go down here to default. And it should move it to the center. And turns it this uh, bright gold color. So once we have it in default and it's yellow, we'll hit the green check mark. And so there's our cube. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on assemble again. And we're going to bring in our strut. And so our strut again is kind of attached to our our mouse, and we'll just click somewhere to set it down. And now we need to do a couple things. First, we're going to turn off the datum planes, and we're also going to turn off uh, this button here. So that gives us a little more room to look at our parts. We need to align these. So to get these aligned, we want to align the center, uh, this hole, and the end of the strut. So I'm going to click on the end of the strut, this part right here. I'm going to click on the inside of this circle. I can rotate it just a little bit and see how it highlights the, the whole hole. And so I'm going to click on the inside of that hole and you can see it shifted just a little bit. Now there should be aligned. Now the next thing we want to do, it wants to mate uh, or match up two parts or, or have two surfaces touching each other. And so what we want, we're going to rotate this around just a little bit. We want this surface of the strut right here. Not this part. We want this edge right here to touch this part of the cube. So I'm going to click on this part of the, the strut. And you see there's two blue circles that go around it. I'm going to click on that. And it highlights it. And then I'm going to highlight this face of the strut, I'm going to click on that, and you can see it joins them together, which is what we want. Once you have that, we'll hit the green check mark, and there we go. Now don't worry if your cube is not gold, I'll show you how to change that here in a little bit. Uh, so then the next thing we need to do is bring in another cube, so we'll click on the assemble button, and I'll double click on cube and again I'll, I'm going to set this uh, way over here to start with and you can set it anywhere you want but we need to align it so again we're going to click on the end of the strut right here and then the inside of the cube now mine you can see this looks kind of weird it's not in the place that I want it at all so what we can do is we can hold down the control button and the alt button then you use your right mouse button so that's control alt and right mouse button and you can slide it back to give yourself a little bit more room now I could manually um, line those up but it's a lot easier if the computer does it so again we're going to highlight this face of the uh, strut and this face of the cube. Now if this happens there's an offset here and an offset is just uh, a space, a gap between these two. 
Uh, there's two ways we, uh, there's several ways we can do this. We can change this number here to zero. You can see that matches it up. I'm going to undo that. Uh, we can change right here where it says 49.8811. Yours, yours might say something else. Uh, we can change that to zero. I'm going to do that one more time. And then another way is this pull down menu right here is to have these two coincide uh, against each other or just to mate up against each other. You can press this button and it'll do the same thing. So once you have that we'll hit the green check mark and then we need to add another strut and I'm just going to click that down and sometimes a computer can get too helpful and you can see I have this red dotted line coming off the center of my strut which I don't really want so I'm going to click on uh, this button right here. It says place manually. And so I'm going to click on the end of the strut, the inside of the hole of the cube, and then in that face of the strut, and that face of the cube. Boom. And hit the green check mark. If you have any questions on that, please feel free to ask. Uh, I'll be happy to come and help you. And again, we're going to keep assembling cubes and struts until we get this shape here. So you need a cube, a cube, a strut, which is what we had. Then we had another strut, so you need another cube, another strut, cube, strut, and, and just keep on going until you get a, a bigger cube out of those. If you have any questions on that, please feel free to ask.